Kolsky are mine. You drove them off? By yourself? Thank you. We'll head back to work right away. Take this. It's the least I can do. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. This one, if you haven't guessed from the intro, is going to be entering Kolskegger Mine and fighting the Forsworn who have taken it over. The Forsworn are, how shall I say, very aggressive and very good fighters. If your character is not a high level, um, Forsworn Briarhearts can be a real issue. And my character currently, I don't think is a high level since I, when I filmed this video, probably 20. This is where potions come in handy in a sense. So let's get on with the adventure and enter into Kolskegger Mine. When I enter a dungeon of any type, or like this case, a mine, I will flip to the bowl and first person view, and I will sneak as best as possible. Now, again, if the character is a low level character, I'd say 20 or less, and you're entering Kolskegger Mine, the Briarheart, or yeah, the Forsworn and the Briarheart will mince you up. This is why poisons like slow or paralysis are necessary. It gives you a fighting chance. I mean, a Forsworn Forger easily could beat my character if I hadn't used slow. This is why healing and other things, like I said, potions and crafting them via alchemy are 100% effective. Whether you like to use them or not, use them. Now, apparently the Forsworn or Briarheart people deeper in the dungeon have gone, or mine, have gone back. So I'm going to, well, I'm still under observation for some reason, which means they're still looking for me, but they haven't come up here. So let's go sneak down into the mine and take down the bad guys one by one. That is what you want to do, is take them down one by one, because like this guy is coming at you, he's down, yep, there's the Forsworn Briarheart. Paralysis is necessary to take these guys down. As you can see, using paralysis potions and the Thum were probably the most effective way to take down the Briarheart and the other two Forsworn. There's still some deeper in the mine, so we will continue on sneaking, but these two and this Briarheart and these other guys, they're gone, and they have nothing on them of any real value. So again, I'm going to continue to sneak down into the dungeon and or not dungeon into the mine and take down anyone else that is possibly alive. I heard 
something. Probably should have reviewed this a little bit before I decided to put it all together. Uh, yeah, with the Briar Heart dead, there really is no need to be sneaky sneaky. I can take down other Forsworn with a blast from the Thum and use potions like Slow and Paralysis. Again, these are all potions you can craft through apothecary means very easily, and the ingredients are all over the place. Um, you can look them up. I might do a potion crafting video uh, a little later on, but right now, let's continue on with doing some mining because Kolskegger is one of the few mines, if not the only mine, in Skyrim where you can mine gold. Sadly, when the gold regenerates, the Forsworn regenerate. And as you climb higher in level, they get more deadly. So again, if you're a lower level, they're very hard to begin with. If you're at a higher level with very heavy armor and well-crafted weapons, yeah, you can fight them. I would not want to be a magic user and fight the Forsworn because Briar Hearts are very powerful. As you can see, there was gold ore and gold ingots, and now there are gold veins. I'm going to get a pickaxe and do the mining. It's boring, but ultimately, I'm just going to fast forward through the actual mining of Kolskager. There is a um, saddlebag here full of stuff, which I'll take later. Again, I'm just going to fast forward through all of the mining. With the mining done, there's a smelter outside of Kolskegger that you can turn all the gold um, ore into ingots, which are useful for crafting. And I'm going to do that now after I take a look around. Yeah, they're still there and dead. The ingots, again, I'm going to save some ore to bring to... Uh, Modesty or whatever, the guy in Riften. And yeah, I'm going to make ingots. And ingots you can craft into jewelry, which you can then enchant with uh, things like Water Breathe or Sneak or Pickpocket. And that's one of the things you really kind of, if you're going to be playing a non thief kind of warrior character like. I'm playing now, crafting rings out of gold, and then enchanting them, enchanting them with, you know, plus ten percent sneak or plus ten percent lock picking or plus whatever percentage you can get them enchanted to, is very useful when you're in a dungeon and need to pick a lock or you need to sneak around. And rings weigh nothing. That is one of the hacks you kind of should do is carry lots of rings with like those enchantments like plus sneak plus, you know, whatever. And use them. Water breathe on an amulet or a necklace is very useful. And again, I might do some... Uh, 
alchemy video or an enchanting video later on, but we've made it through Cole Skegger Mine. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I thank all the subscribers. I thank all those people who leave comments. I'm trying to work my way up to 100 people subscribing. After that, well, a thousand, a million, that would all be awesome. But if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.